Hey, um, how you doing? I'm just getting on because Holy Spirit has put a burden on my heart to be able to speak to someone um, who wants to commit suicides or is battling suicidal thoughts. Um, it's been on my heart really, really heavy on this entire drive of, as I'm heading home. And I had just took a break to rest and, you know, God literally started downloading to me um, that I don't know who you are, whether you have a, bought a gun, but that was one of the things I was saying, some, uh, an individual with a gun and wanting to, of course, end their life. And then there's another person that I saw like a vision and a person wanted to hang themselves. And then there's just others that are battling suicidal thoughts. And I'm telling you that you can overcome this and those thoughts are not from God. God will not tell you to end your life. In John 10 and 10, the enemy came to steal, kill and destroy. But the Lord said that he came, Jesus Christ came. So he, that he that is in him can have life and life more abundantly y'all. And this is for those that do not believe in Christ. That I pray right now that for those who are under the sound of my voice, that you stand and hold on. I pray that you hold on and hold on and hold on and know that it's not, it's not too hard. It's not too hard. Even when it seems like life is hard, he has you and there's a plan for you. In Jeremiah 29, 11, he said, there's a plan for you, a plan to prosper you, not for harm, not for evil, but of good things. And I'm saying that if you were to take your life today, you will miss out living the fullness of what God has for you whether you are unbeliever or whether you are a believer in Christ. See, I remember when I, be, I faced my first suicidal thought ever in life in 2009. And it was going through heartbreak, going through financial situations, going through issues with my family, possibly like on and off, um, pretty much like getting ready to transition and possibly living in my car. I didn't want to tell my family what was going on. I was a um, freshman, kind of sophomore in school at the time at um, college and I remember I was just walking in the quad and it was bright. It was bright just like this sun shining. And I remember it was so hot. I was like literally sweating. And I remember I heard the voice of God so clearly. It wasn't it wasn't Holy Spirit talking this time. Of course we know he speaks through his Holy Spirit, but it was strictly God himself. And he said xenophobia. And I said, Yes Lord and he said, you know, it's hot in Louisiana, huh? I said, Yeah, it's hot. He said, it's real hot today. I said, yeah, it's hot. I'm wet and sweating. And he said, that thought you just had, just imagine how hot it'll be for eternity. Because see, people don't understand this life you live is, y'all, it's temporary. But the one that your soul will live in is eternal. Because then those who believe in Christ will have a glorified body and we will be able to live again. See, the enemy comes to tempt you, and that's not of God. He wants to end the purpose, the calling, the people you're assigned to, the people that you need to speak to, the people that are waiting on you. Those who are unbelievers in Christ are those who are Christians, and you're lukewarm, and God is saying he wants to restore that fire in your life. He wants to restore that for you guys. And it was just so heavy on my heart because even then, even when I was going through it this week, y'all, y'all not, I, you don't know my life's in. You don't know what I'm going through. You don't know hardships. Listen, I just came out of that season and still kind of is in that season. And I'm wrestling with God myself, you guys. I'm telling you, and my thoughts are, the Lord, just come get me. Come get me. I want to go to heaven. But I know that suicide is not my option. And I don't want ever, ever to take that that option from God because God said I'm the one that kill and make alive I'm the one that wound and heal and he can give you that example through what he did through Jesus Christ when Jesus came and gave his life for us remember when Satan came to tempt Jesus and tell him to throw himself down and you know if you're really the son of God and then at one point in the Bible that Mary um his mother was saying basically like wanted him to perform miracles and he was like woman woman chill out my hour have not come or many other people was trying to prevent him from going to the cross but remember that was God's plan for him for him to die for us so we all could live again when God raised him back from the dead so know that when you actually allow yourself to give your life to Christ you will be able to live forever in eternity with God when you're doing what he called you to do so I want to just pray for you 
right now for those that are under the sound of my voice i pray holy spirit in the name of jesus that you will shed your precious blood over this channel and over those who are watching God that are contemplating suicide that are contemplating God ended it all that are contemplating that it's too hard it's contemplating that Lord nobody loves them nobody cares about them nobody thinks about them but Lord I think about them because you thought about them so much Lord that you decided that I Holy that you Holy Spirit that I needed to make a video concerning them for those who will come across this so Lord I ask in the name of Jesus you will send ministering angels according to Hebrews 1 and 14 Lord that you will be able to stop the gun from God shooting that you will be able to loosen God the grips of the rope Lord I even prevent that person from even allowing the rope to hang where they're at Lord whoever they are Lord I just thank you right now Jesus that you are meeting them Jesus you are meeting them Lord you're meeting them in every need and those who are Christians in Christ and that are struggling with suicidal thoughts. I pray right now, Lord, that you will come step in in the nick of time and you will send other believers and you will send other people around them, God, the unbeliever and the believers to encourage them, Lord, to show them that their life is worth it, Lord. Give them a sign. And if this is their sign, Lord, I ask it in the name of Jesus, let your perfect will, your perfect way and the perfect peace that surpass all understanding that you will give to them, Lord, in their area where they're located at meet and reach them in jesus name i pray amen so i pray that you have a blessed one and i love you and know that god watches you and that's why this video was made because i saw those two people and i don't know who you are but i'm praying for you and with you and in an agreement for god to make certain that you have life and life more abundantly and that you walk out the calling that god has for you in his son jesus name i pray amen so you have a blessed one y'all